Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin. Today we have an unboxing here. Uh, this watch kindly sent over by Walden Watches. Walden, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. W-A-L-D-A-N. I want to say Walden, but uh, it's Walden. So anyway, let's um, get this thing opened up here. Kind of a larger box. Um, so they have Let's see, I think 12 different colorways of this watch, and also the uh, dial's a little bit different too. Some have Arabics, some have just indices. Uh, some are some really cool colors, uh, like yellow, turquoise, and green maybe. I'll leave a link in the description um, to their website. So yeah, let's check this thing out. So I was doing a little bit of research on uh, this company. Uh, they were founded in 1979. The original owner, it looks like he's uh, passed away and now the son is running the company, but the original owner uh, is a watchmaker uh, from Poland. Uh, looks like he was in uh, the Holocaust and he learned watchmaking in, uh, I think a concentration camp. So uh, yeah, kind of a, a, a interesting crazy story there so um let's open this up and uh like i said i'll leave a link in the description uh to the company and the faqs and also to um these watches here so <laughs> i couldn't remember what color i went with i was looking at the uh, white dial the green dial the, the blue dial is the like i said 12 different choices i had a hard time picking just one so um looks like i went with the green i couldn't really remember yeah cool All right, looks like I need to cut the plastic open here. All right, so it's a quartz. Oh, cool. This dial is a little bit different color of green than uh, what it looked like online, I think, from what I remember. I like this one with the indices over the Arabics. It just looks a little more uh, dressy looking, which I think this style of watch kind of fits. Actually, um, where am my other green watch today? So that's, uh, I didn't even really plan this out. So this is the a Jungle Green Boulder Venture. I don't think they make this colorway anymore, but uh, this color green is cool. It's um, maybe kind of an army green. So yeah, it is a quartz watch. Uh, you can see the subdial there, the small subdial at six o'clock uh, ticking away. And also if you zoom in here, you see that it's an AmeriQuartz watch. And I believe these watches are also assembled in the USA. You do a little bit more research on that. Yep, so it's 1979, as I uh, just mentioned. Water resistant stainless steel, uh, screw down case back. I don't think it's a screw down. What oh, is a screw down? Nope, not a screw down crown. Just didn't get a good grip on it there. Gonna file my nails a little bit short, but anyway. So I'm not sure what that position is. Perhaps a ghost state position. And all the way out is hacking. Uh, not hand winding, but uh, you can set the time here. So let's put it in the 10-10 position, and then uh, we'll do a wrist shot and close out the video here. Take a closer look at the dial. Looks kind of like um, like a grill or maybe planks of wood. It's cool looking. I like some texture on the dials here. Almost looks like they're in different colors, but I think it's just the the um, lines almost look like they're different colors, but I think it's just the way the lighting's hitting it at certain angles. So yeah, very cool. Let's get this on wrist and then we'll close out the video. Just reading the uh, instructions here. 
water resistance does not work if the crown is left pulled out. So uh, there's a good public service announcement there. All right, let's uh, get this on wrist. Zoom back out here. There we go. So this say it says genuine leather handmade in Italy. Well that's nice. It's nice Italian leather here, and then it's got the quick release pins. So you can swap out a different color. I'm not sure what color would look good with the green dial. Maybe I'll do a strap show here. All right, let's get it on wrist. I definitely would not be putting that watch on a NATO strap like uh, this guy here. Kind of two different uh, ends of the spectrum. Field watch and then uh, I would call this a dress watch. Ooh, looks like we're pretty close to the last hole here. Put it on the second to last one. I think I'd probably get on the last one. I don't know. We'll see. So let me know what you guys think of this watch. And uh, we'll put out the full video here in the near future. Looking forward to spending some time with this watch with the AmeriCorps. I think I have I have a uh, Vair watch, V-A-E-R, and that also has the AmeriCorps in it, but not in this configuration with the uh, small subdial here for the seconds. All right, let's zoom out and then we'll close out the video. Looks like there is some loom on here, so we'll check that out in the full presentation. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I have a lot, uh, a lot more watches to uh, video and uh, discuss, so plenty of more content will be coming out here. All right, as always, thank you for taking the time, and thank you for watching.